Oral grooming in cats. Grooming in the feline species is an important part of their behavior repertoire. Cats groom through scratching and oral grooming. However, we will focus on an oral grooming in this video. Oral grooming is accomplished by licking multiple areas of their body. The feline tongue has adapted cornified papillae, which act as a comb to separate hairs of the coat and remove ectoparasites. Eckstein and Hart found that when cats were fit with an Elizabethan collar, that prevented grooming. The number of parasites increased twofold. They also found that cats will spend twice as much time grooming when moved from a flea-free environment to a flea-infested environment. This ability to remove ectoparasites is important in the prevention of skin irritation and transmission of microbial diseases, as flea and other parasites act as vectors. Grooming is important to remove stale oil and dirt from the hair coat. Also, grooming fluffs the fur to maintain insulating capacity and temperature control. Eckstein and Hart found that domestic cats spend 4% of their lifetime grooming. This equates to approximately 8% of the time they are awake. Furthermore, they found that when cats are deprived of the ability to groom, they attempt to catch up by increasing their daily grooming time. The domestic cat will groom more after periods of rest and sleep than at any other time. Cats will groom themselves, starting at their heads and moving towards their tail. Grooming sessions are usually dedicated to multiple body areas following the cephalocaudal pattern. For example, a cat will start with washing its face by licking their paws and rubbing their face, and then moving on to their forepaws, followed by their neck and chest, shoulders, and flank. The majority of time spent grooming is on the head. followed by the hind legs, the flank, the neck and chest areas, anogenital region, abdomen, and tail respectively. A study by Swenson and Randall found that grooming is not mediated by external stimulus, but by subcortical brain areas. Pontile and tectal lesions to the brain resulted in reduced grooming times, suggesting that these areas of the brain are involved in grooming initiation. The cephalocaudal grooming pattern in cats supports this because if it was mediated by an external stimuli, only areas receiving the stimulus would be groomed during a grooming session. Although grooming may be initiated by external stimulus, essentially controlled grooming patterns are the primary initiating factor. Grooming in felines is an important behavior as it contributes to overall health. Grooming has evolved to become a physiological necessity that serves many different needs.